Welcome to the Several Nines product video and today we will demonstrate to you the proxy SQL capabilities of Cluster Control. Cluster Control allows you to deploy proxy SQL load balancers for either MySQL replication or Galera cluster topologies. To do so, you simply go to the cluster, click on the drop down and then select add load balancer. In this page, you are able to install various load balancers and click on the install proxy SQL tab to open up the dialog. Here you can choose to install Proxy SQL either on an existing host in your cluster or provide a new host name or IP address for a new host to be added. You can also customize your listening port. The listening port is basically where your application connects to on a Proxy SQL node. Furthermore, we need an administrative user from cluster control going to Proxy SQL to either change the configuration or add users or fetch statistics from Proxy SQL to be displayed in cluster control. We also need a monitoring user. This user will be created in MySQL and be used by Proxy SQL to check whether the state of your nodes are st is still okay. Then we have the choice to add database users. This can be either a new user or an existing user. A new user means that the user is not present on MySQL nor on Proxy SQL. And an existing user means that the user is present in MySQL but not yet in Proxy SQL. This is for instance if you already have an application connecting to your MySQL topology, you need to migrate that user because now Proxy SQL is taking care of the authentication request. Then we can select the nodes to balance. We can exclude certain hosts from here, for instance if you have a delayed slave or if you have a slave that is being used for backups. The final thing we need to check here is whether we are going to use implicit or explicit transactions. If we're using implicit transactions we rely on auto commit equals zero. This means that you really have to specify commit after each transaction. If you're going to specify explicit transactions auto commit is set to one and also you need to provide the begin or start transaction to start a transaction and commit if you are going to commit afterwards. Currently implicit transactions are not supported by proxy SQL. That means that if you are using implicit transactions we will by default install the rules to send all the traffic to your master. Once proxy SQL 1.4.0 has been released this will address this issue and we will install the read-write splitting rules for implicit transactions as well. Now if we click on the install proxy SQL button, this will create a job in the background that will start installing the new proxy SQL host. We already have one in this cluster, so I'll open up. In the proxy SQL overview, you can see that we have two host groups. Host group 10, which is the writer, the master, and host group 20, which are all the readers, including the master, because that can also be treated as a reader. Host group 10 will receive all the writes during write, read and write split. Host group 20 will get all the read requests. And you can see that both of them are being utilized. You can see all the questions are being sent from our application to the database. You can check how many there are. We can see the slow queries. We can see how many queries the backend receives. And furthermore, we can see the performance of proxy SQL in this overview. We are also able to see all the top queries. These are the most frequently used queries in our proxy SQL instance. And this is similar to PT Query Digest. The output, you can see how frequently they happen, how long it takes for them to be executed, and when they are first seen or last seen. And this is especially very good if you are trying to debug certain issues in your application. Furthermore, we are able to see what query rules have been created. And as you can see here, we see the select for update is being sent to the master. All the other questions are also sent to the master and only the select queries are being sent to the readers. We can also see what servers are part of proxy SQL and what host group they are in. We can also see which users have been defined and we can easily add new users or existing users using our proxy SQL implementation. This is what we can show for proxy SQL in cluster control. I hope everything was clear for you. If you have any questions just leave them below in the comments 
or get in touch with us on severalnights.com in the chat box.